Yo, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of my Road to Champions League series. In today's video, we'll be using Mortar Hog Bait to hopefully throw a push to Masters 1, which is right now 5,000 trophies instead of 4,900. Because in you know, the update, you know, the added day, I was that uh, Royal Champion. I forgot what that's called. Let me go and check again. What is that? Royal Champion? Yeah, Royal Champion. So they kind of, you know, so they, they, so they shuffled, you know, the uh, the arenas around. Not at the arenas, the uh, the trophies. How many, how many trophies do you need to, you need to get to that arena or league? I completely did not explain that at all properly. I'm at 491 gems, which is really nice. I had, like, only had like 300. So I, so, I got, so I got quite a bit. I don't know, 50,000 gold, not too bad. And anyway, this is the variation I'm going to be using today. Into the first one of the video, let's just get to 5,000 trophies. Let's go undefeated. Because I really want to get to Masters 3, even though, you know, it's highly unlikely to get to this season because, you know, they added an extra 100 trophies. Still, maybe, because, you know, they, they also you know they also decreased the amount of trophies you lose. So, you know, it is, it's it's not going to be... It's, I can't I can't really say so far. Okay, well, so yeah, it's Perka. I'm a musketeer over there. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the dark goblin. Trying to bait out, trying to bait out his log if he has it. No log. I'm gonna go for the rascals. I'm gonna go for the bats. And we and we will be able to defend that nice and easy. Okay, I'm gonna go mortar to kind of push off that. Maybe we'll get a connection on something. Yeah, it it did get a connection, but not really the connection I wanted to. Because now he just mirrored his Pekka. And he has a baby dragon. But the good news is that the baby dragon is locked onto my tower. So, that's good. Usually, normally I would not say that, but it's actually really good news that the baby dragon was actually locked, was actually locked, locked onto the tower. Because if you actually wanted to watch the Goblin Gang, I probably would have been... Wow, he has... Okay, yeah, beautiful. So he has mini Pekka and Pekka to counter my hog. Well, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. He 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 has just an awfully off meta deck and an off awfully off meta deck. Well, that that just sounded you know quite uh, quite similar. Awfully off. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go for the bats. Wizard is not gonna get any shots. That's nice. I'm gonna go for the mortar. I'm gonna go for. I should have saw that coming. All right, all right. So he's gonna he's gonna have his no Pekka. Okay, no Pekka. So I'm just gonna distract the baby dragon with the hog. He goes for mini Pekka. That's, uh, that the hog is still gonna get a shot. So that's nice. Uh, I'm gonna go for rascals over here. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna fireball this. Uh, dude, that wasn't really the best move I could have done. But okay. Okay, okay. I'm not, I am not playing this too well, but you know, just this clean enough just to just to just make just to let me win. I'm playing this good enough just just to make me win. Okay, he goes back in front of that. Nice. I'm gonna go hog over here to distract the wizard. Then I'm gonna go for the rascals. Then I'm gonna log this. I'm gonna go for the for the goblin gang. I'm gonna fireball this. All right, that was really, really close on that mini Pekka. So yeah, so okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, this is this is just this is gonna this is just gonna get so close. Even though out of even though I have no idea how he is going to be able to win this. I got the answer. Rocket cycling. I'm gonna go for the mortar. I'm gonna go for the log. Goblin gang, that's definitely that's that's a definite mortal connection. Come on, come on, come on, fireball for the win, and that's gonna be a good game. Alright, so first battle is a win against Judicator23. Wow, alright. So he had Pekka, Mini Pekka, Mirror. I don't even know what what uh, what what that what's what the purpose of that deck was. How do you win with that? I have no idea. Wow. Alright, alright, alright. Yes, he still hasn't won a single uh, worthy battle. Into the into the second battle, the Vima forty nine oh two. Let's just forty nine oh four. Okay, we're gonna be getting qu quite a bit of choice from this guy if we win because he is thirty three choice above us. All right, so S N S N from Iran. Good luck. 
We'll give him the... If you can hear the squeaking in the background, that's my old chair waiting to be fixed. Well, thrown away. Okay. So... Well, let's give him the, um, the that, that, uh, that, uh, that drill ghost heart emote. I don't even know what, 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 is that, what is that supposed to be called. Okay, so, let me, so the Dark Island got the connection mano for the Rascals. So you can sing the Musketeer, Baby Dragon, and I don't even know what, what other card. I don't, I don't even know what other card he has. What, 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 what are his other cards? Mini Pekka, wow. So another hard counter. I still gotta get a shot. I'm gonna go for bats. I'm gonna pull all the way over there with the mini with the goblin gang. I was gonna say, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So he freezes. He freezes. Cool, man. Cool. So w w what exactly? What, what exactly did you freeze again? Yeah, one goblin, one spear goblin, and, and a tower, and uh, you, and all your troops were dead. So that's a pro freeze over there. Pro freeze. Love it. That's, okay, back, back up the connection. So I'm gonna go for the rascals. No, I'm actually, I'm actually just gonna wait out. I'm gonna send a log. I'm gonna go for the rascals over here. He tries to predict something. He does not get anything because I'm a smart boy. I'm a smart boy, all right? I know all the plays. All the plays. That was an, that was an absolutely horrible accent, so pardon me. I don't even know what I was trying to uh, do over there with my accent. So it looks like we're, we're, we're going to be able to win the second one as well against SN from Iran. I don't know if he gave up already or not. No, he did not. Okay, we're going to go for Bowser. We're going to pull we're gonna pull towards the middle with the mortar. Now we're going to go Dark Goblin over there. Now I'm going to log this. All right, man. He should he should just rage quit. He should just rage quit. Please, for the love of God, rage quit. You are not going to win. You are not going to win. It is like a 0 0.01 chance that you are going to win this. I have your king tower like two thirds health off, not one third health. So, and both of my towers are relatively high. So I don't even know how you're gonna win this. Yeah, he's gonna win it like that. That's how he's gonna win. No, we defended perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but you know, to the best of our of my capabilities as a forty nine hundred noob. But I'm just gonna go for the. I'm just gonna go for the three crown. I want the three crown. I want the three crown. Even though I'm probably not gonna get it. He took my tower down. I'm fine with that because I'm going I'm going for the three crown. I'm gonna go for the goblin gang. I'm gonna go for the hog. I'm gonna fireball. I know I know I can get the three crown, so I'm not gonna be he freezes defensively. That's still gonna get a shot. That's still gonna get a shot, so I'm fine. We just need you know like one hog shot and a fireball and we should be okay. If you don't choke this somehow, because I will be really pissed if that happens. I'll be really, really pissed. I'm gonna go for the bats. I'm gonna go Dark Goblin, you know, hopefully, you know, just to, you know, get the connection. Connection, please. Yeah, it's a good game. All right, so there you go. Second battle was a win, and it's gonna be a three crown against SN from Iran. Now the play I did over there of, you know, letting him take my right tower. I apologize for the squeaking. The player I did, you know, by letting his hog take my right tower. You should not do that. You should never do that. That was a mistake on my part. Even though I got a three crown, it is an extremely risky play. If you have, if you can get the win, just go for it. Defend and get the win. One crown or two crown or three crown doesn't matter. Just get the win. Don't take the risk of trying to you know, get just trying to get a second tower or a three crown. It really will not be worth it if you end up losing. That happened so many times to me. That was a risk that I should not have taken. But you know, it still paid off. But uh, you should not do that. Anyways, into the third battle of the video. Let's just uh, hope we can win this one against Wail Hunter from Syrian Masters. Good luck. All right, so let's just you know wait it out. Number one play with this. Uh, number one tip of this deck: never go mortar offensive for the first play. Never ever go mortar offensive. It, that that does not just apply to this deck. It applies to any deck that has the mortar. Never go never go never go mortar offensive first play. What was that, Gur? All right. Well, let's go for the hog, tombstone. Um, I'm not gonna fireball. All right. I don't. I don't know what he's what 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 what, what he was trying to do. I'm gonna log this right now because that's gonna take care of the tombstone. All right. Then I'm gonna go for the mortar up top. You see, now uh, he has he has love on us for sure. He has love on for sure. So like I so like right now I'm I'm pretty confident you know going for the uh, going for the how do you call it for the 
for the what else? What is that called? For more offensive. I'm gonna go for the rascals down over here. Doesn't have his zero some cycles, so I'm fine. I'm gonna go for the bats on top of that. He doesn't, have his, he doesn't have his arrows to cycle. He still has to cycle one other card to get back to them. So I'm good. I'm pretty sure it's one card, is it? I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna go for the hog. I have my log ready for his tombstone. Alright, log over here. Alright, perfect. That's gonna be tied down if he doesn't do anything for it. Well, almost. That's gonna be like, it's actually within fireball range. So he has Lava Loon, that's for sure. He has Lava Loon. So, and he has arrows as well. So, Love Loon Arrows usually mean a good game straight up. But, uh, if you play it properly, you can still manage to win it. So, now he, does, he definitely doesn't have enough elixir to go for his, uh, for his, what's that called? For his love, I'm like, now he does. I'm gonna try to bait out his arrows. I'm gonna try to bait out, bait out his arrows right now, because the Rascals are, are, are the main damage dealing unit. I'm gonna go for the Rascals over here. Maybe he's probably gonna air that. Yeah, there's the arrows, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna go for the hog. I'm gonna go for the goblin gang. I'm gonna go for the log over here. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's gonna, that's gonna get a good connection to the tower. That's good. So even even if this gets, if the, even if this gets to you know uh, a two crown race, we'll still, we will still have you know a decent uh, damage on his tower. So that's good. He doesn't have any ground troop to defend, so I'm gonna go for the mortar up top. I'm gonna go for the hog. I'm gonna apply constant pressure. Wow, he actually just does that. He actually just did that. He just did that. It's good game for him. He has no chance of winning this. I'm just gonna give him the good game. I'm giving him the good game straight up, man. All right, I'm gonna give him the good game straight up. I'm just gonna, yeah, it's a good game. He's gonna take my my left tower, but whatever. Who cares? We've got the victory against Wild Hunter running Lava Loot Arrows. He should have won this. You do not understand what a horrible matchup Mortabate has against Lava Loot Arrows. It's just, it's just absolutely like, it's, it's, it's just, it's just so bad. It's so bad. It's, it's, a, it's a horrible. It's horrible. All right. So the quest of is win fifty crowns. That's pretty easy. I can do that. Let's, let's open, let's, let's open this crown chest. We got nothing for it for our first crown chest of the, uh, of the update. All right. So I'm gonna finish up the video with the replay against, uh, well, lumberjack balloon. Alright, so um, this is the replay of here against Sukmac. He's running Lumberjack Balloon Freeze, in fact. I'm gonna still play this in double speed because the video isn't going it's been going long for a uh, it's been going pretty long for a while. I'm using I, I, I'm using a, a diff a slightly different variation in this battle with uh, with a snowball in place of the log. But you know it still works it still works just as well. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go for the rascals. I'm gonna still play this in one in one time speed, okay. He goes for the lumberjack. That's gonna take care of my rascal, but you know, since the lumberjack takes two shots to kill the rascals, he doesn't get any shot on my tower. In rage spear, goblin gets he gets an extra sh gets an extra spear, but it doesn't really matter. He goes for the balloon right now. I go for the dark goblin. He, he goes for the goblin gang right now. It doesn't he, he doesn't really do much. He, although you know, I, although you know, he still he still he still manages to get you know a better damage on the goblin the goblin gang on my tower. It's still okay. I go for the hog over here. He delays the response on his on his uh for, for my hog. Normally, whenever whenever your opponent delays a response for your hog, it usually it usually means that he has NATO or he just disconnected or doesn't have enough elixir. Or uh, most most like most of the time, it's uh, usually because he doesn't he has NATO in cycle and he well, he has NATO and he's and he's waiting to use it. Just you know, just just a little tip over there. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play this in double speed because nothing really happens over here. I, I, I really want to I want I want I really want to skip the you know the boring parts. All right, splitting splitting the goblin gang go for more defensive because you know that's the uh, that's a smart play to do. I go for the rascals because uh, that's really like uh, the only play I can do over here against you know lumberjack and the witch. I go for the hog. I go for the hog over here to kind of push all those rascal girls and then I snowball as well. Actually, sorry, I don't over there. I punch the snowball. I fireball that. I, I clip the I clip the baby the the uh, the, uh, the balloon. This actually gets really, really close over here. That is so close. That is really, really close over there. I'm gonna play this in one time speed for the rest of the battle. That balloon got so close to getting the connection. I'm really thankful it did not. I'm gonna snowball this. Just so you know, we can get just, just so the, you know the the uh, mortar can get an extra shot on the witch. I'm gonna go for the dark goblin, and then I go for the mortar up top to pull it to pull it up. It still gets it still it gets a shot in the tower, so that's really nice. I fireball it back. 
Sorry, that's not gonna shut him down because he was enraged. That was another battle I played. My apologies. I go for the hog to kind of push He just he actually uses his NATO to pull it to pull everything towards uh, towards together. The hog step gets one shot, so that's really nice. So he's my my time is at fifteen seventy one. He's at six. His is at 716. I go for the Rascals. I decided to go for the mortar up top over here. But that was a slight little misplay. My my uh, I kind of lagged over there, so uh, the, the mortar the, I, I was uh, the mortar was already was already dropped before he before he before he dropped he dropped his goblin gang. So uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the bats. All I need is just you know like a simple cycle. I go for the hog over here, I snowball this back, I go for the mortar up top, he nato he na he nato's, uh he he nato's back, so now uh Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do anything. Mortar, the mortar isn't able to get a connection onto the tower because of the witch over there. I go for the rascals down low, and then I just keep cycling. I, I, get, I, I just, I just had to keep cycling, you know, just, just to get the victory over here. That's all. That's all I had to do. He freezes, which honestly was not really the best play. I go for the hog over here, and it's gonna be good game. He doesn't have anything to do. He doesn't have any counter. He knows it. I know it, and that's gonna be good game against Sock Mock for the first battle of the uh, update of the new update. Alright, well, anyways, that should, that, that should do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!